What's going on everybody? We're gonna be looking at BTS's song Shadow, which is coming from their Map of the Soul 7 album. And it's probably gonna be their best album yet. Oh, what was that for? I know, I know, I know. Okay, no, you you have a you have a special place in our hearts, okay? But this album that's coming out, there's like a lot, a lot of anticipation for this one. Probably the most yet. So what Ow! Alright, I would Alright, I'm not an album abuser, okay? So I'm just gonna put you down there. Alright. I gotta get ready for my trip to LA and uh, I'm going to Arizona too. And while I'm there, I'm actually gonna be working on something with my friend Barcenilla. He's actually a singer. And I'm gonna just play 15 seconds of one of his songs, Mirda, 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 Mirda. Is there the tongue roll in that R? I can't do it. I've never been able to do it. They used to laugh at me in Spanish class. Como me miras a me, love when you're looking at me. Let me tell you how it's gonna be. Imagine your body on me, see? Como me miras a me, love when you're looking at me. And of course, you know the deal. The link is in the description below for that. And by the way, my name is Joey Nato. Let's get into this. We're going to break it down from a music production perspective. BTS is back and uh, their albums are really mean. That sounds to me, okay, so we start, first of all, we start off with this vinyl crack in the background. So they wanted to have some kind of vintage type sound for some reason. But then we uh, hear some reverse effects. There's uh, some reverse vocals with a lot of reverb on them, just like, ah. That's not like a choir or anything like that. That's somebody singing it and maybe their vocals are even pitched down a little bit because they're pretty deep. And then there's what I think for that like bass type element to it. I think it's I think it's a reverse piano sound. So there's a lot of reverse going on. Reverse everything. Oh, here we are. Another reverse. All right, all right, hey, hey, if we're gonna get a lot of sugar rapping in English on this album, then that just shows how far he came. There's always been rumors that this member, Sugar, has always been able to, secretly been able to speak English, but I don't think that's true. I think he was learning slowly but surely, because why would you hide that, you know? But anyways, right now the production is, you know, him rapping very quiet. His vocals in the mix are very quiet. You could you could barely make out what he's saying. And at the same time, there's just a, uh, like a synthesizer bass, which is just playing that as you hear in the background and then there's just like these little snare placeholders which are the like the the block sounds yeah anyways here we go <laughs> those reverse chords are so dope though mm. Oh, that's interesting on the drums. They, uh, a lot of times that electric, like I called it a snare placeholder. Cause once those snares come in, like you hear the difference, like there's a whole drum beat now with the kick, hi-hat, snares, all that stuff. Usually they take out that block sound that was there during the buildup that, but now they're, they're keeping it in there, which is, uh, that's kind of cool. And this is, uh, this turned out to be pretty much like a, a trap beat, an ascending chord progression trap beat that we have going on. And I think that's, that's something that BTS hasn't done in a long time. The whole Persona album was kind of just like a mix of genres. They didn't have like a trap hip hop style song up there. You know what I mean? So I think that's pretty interesting. Oh my god, I, I forgot to put on the subtitles. Sorry about that. I'm definitely gonna hear about that in the comment section. That's okay though. Mm. Yeah, those, 
chords are so crazy to me. And well, one thing I wanted to say too on his voice, it has like a really unique kind of reverb. Like it's not a clean, it's not a soothing, it's not a smooth type of reverb on his voice. The reverb has like a very forced type of reverb sound. Like it's supposed to stand out. And it sounds like it has kind of the hall reverb effect, which kind of sounds like this a little bit. Oh, the black's gone. <laughs> All right, so what happened here during the hook is there is no more reverse. So for the, the verse, <laughs> the verse had reverse. Ha! That's kind of funny. We laugh. <laughs> during the verse in the background, you heard like that reverse effect, but now everything is normal during the hook here. The piano chords are normal. The whatever, whatever was causing that chord, some kind of pad maybe. Um, a pad is basically, basically a synthesizer type of sound, but it, it tends to sound more atmospheric and the sound is like has a lot more sustainment is that a word sustainment but yeah that's really interesting that's probably the most interesting thing production wise that i've heard so far in this and i never comment on videos because i'm too busy focusing on listening to the sounds that i hear but that effect when they're chasing them and then like it all slows down when they're right about to catch them that was a that's pretty amazing effect right there <laughs> Wait, is this uh is this sugar here? It must be. This must be sugar. At first it looked like Jim in a little bit. One of the singers in BTS I could sing pretty pretty high, but this this doesn't sound like this doesn't sound like a true singer right now singing. Sugar could sugar could sing, you know, but he can't sing like he can't sing like Jimin could sing or something like that. So that kind of made me know right there. And there's a little auto-tune effects on his voice here. So they really want it to have this uh, this modern feel. I think they're doing a good job with that. I think this is pretty cool so far. Electric guitar. Woo! Uh, I thought he said I want a gold ring in the beginning, but he said I want to go win. I thought he said I want a gold ring, but he's saying I want to go win. Okay. All right, what's really standing out to me now about this part is those vocals that he, you heard in the beginning when he was like, I want to duh, I want to duh. Now, those vocals are way up higher and you can hear them clear as day. It's almost like the goals that he had. He like was talking about goals in the beginning goals that he had but they were like faint quiet almost like a lack of confidence type of thing or like the odds are against him but now they're prominent like you hear them like very clear these vocals and these goals very clear i thought i think that's kind of cool um that kind of attention to detail it does something for the listener you know Ooh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, this is the moment. Like, every, okay. This is the moment right now. The way the, oh boy, okay. The way the beat just got really dark. And I love how they have, like, red right now. Like, red is such a aggressive, angry color. You know what I mean? Like, the way all that just tied in together. And we just have those deep 808s. And that, that synth, it almost sounds like a similar synth that I heard in the, uh, the Marvel Black Widow movie trailer recently. It's just got that like that screechy noise like suspense like ooh I wanna be a rock I want it on mine I wanna be me I wanna be the king Okay I wanna be me I wanna be I never heard anything like this before. Hold on. So, all right. So we broke away completely from the, the trap elements right now. We have 
some shakers in the background, like really thin, crisp shakers. And what is, I'm trying to make out what these drums are. Obviously there's a crazy distortion effect on his vocal too. So I hear that. I don't know, the 808s are the loudest thing to me. The synth is gone. If you listen really closely with headphones on, you can hear there's like a screeching noise in the background. And it's like panning from side to side. It's like doing something like that. That sounds, sounds like chaos. <laughs> And as usual, I watched the BTS video and was left completely confused, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys are less confused or maybe more enlightened about what's going on in the background there of the song, everything like that. Again, check out my boy Barcinilla, his song Mirda, Mirda, that was pretty good, in the description below. And yeah, it's good to see uh, BTS is back and I'm glad that we got a uh, Suga solo track as the introduction here. If you're new to BTS, there's seven members in the group. <laughs> and it's called Map of the Soul 7. That seven means a lot of things probably, so. All right, that's it. This was interesting, as usual. A lot of interesting decisions were made. I appreciate you guys watching. Nado. Come on, man, me to some me. Love when you're looking at me. Let me tell you how it's gonna be. Imagine your body on me, see. Come on, man, me to some me. Love when you're looking at me. Let me tell you how it's gonna be.